hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl azinia williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so i'm going to start this video by saying a very big happy birthday to destiny etiko actress destiny etiko today is her birthday she's also known as a drama doll yeah I love this particular picture of hers. I just had to put it in my video. Happy, happy, happy birthday to her. So moving on. So yesterday, this video of, um, there was this video of Messi that was trending, which I also did a video about, asking you guys about what you think about the video. Basically, in the video, she was talking about people pressuring her to support a particular housemate. And from what I heard, a lot of people mentioned Nengi's fan base and other fan bases. And she was like, she doesn't know these people and all that. So today she went out and put out this on Twitter and she wrote and said, um, I was talking to those who were tarnishing my image on Twitter because I decided to stay neutral. I love all housemates equally and everyone knows I am a thankful person. Your Nick, okay, your narrative will never change my personality. For those who already knew that the clip was a data short, without any shalaye thank you for knowing me so okay if you don't understand i bet i bet what she's trying to say here is that clip was edited or i mean i think what she means is the clip was like like the two minutes out of her life was taken out of her live stream was taken and not like in the whole contest and she's saying that she was talking to those that were tarnishing her image on twitter and also she is also talking about the fact that she loves all housemates equally and she is not ungrateful as that clip might make her to be so i'm glad she was able to come out to say this you know because at that point when i saw that video trust me a lot of things were going through my mind i don't know who on earth made her piss that much and like i said in the previous video this is not the first time i heard her address that issue of some of her fans asking her to support a particular housemate so i'm glad she came out to talk about that okay people of god so let's go into the big brother niger house people of god tacha was in the house today yes tacha was in the big brother house not in person well because of the whole covid thing she was there to present the tax via video the oppo challenge tax and it was such a joy to behold her in the house the housemates some of them view was like is that touch huh <laughs> the housemates were like sorry sorry the housemates were like oh tacha not really oh tacha like some of them did recognize her and all that and she gave out the she gave out the um steps to win in the oppo challenge so yeah it's really really ironic if you ask me like seeing how she left the show last year seeing how everybody has been saying this about her this about her is she gonna make it nobody's gonna you know you know that kind of a thing and still seeing her being the one person that presented a tax and which we all know if not for the whole covid thing she would have been there live in person or something like that so it's really really nice to see yeah it was really really nice to see so moving on so um they had the oppo challenge and the oppo challenge today was they asked them it was really funny at first because the first one was for them to do you know this um i don't know the name of this game but they always do it when you were were children <laughs> when you go for birthday parties where they were like if you guys are like 10 they'll put like night chairs and if you don't get a chair by the time music stops you get to go out and they will remove another chair and they will keep doing that till they get a winner so they did that the boys and the girls so basically how they did it is the first guy to leave when the guys are doing their game will be partnering with the first girl to leave so with that way we had Tricky T and Lucy being the first people to leave, followed by Brito and Kaisha, followed by Lacon and Watoni, Praise and Dorothy, Kid Wire and Erica, Prince and Talani Baj, Ozo and V, Neo and Nengi. It was really, really, really funny because the guys really, really wanted to be with the girls they were like in a situation ship with. Let's take Kid Wire for example. He really, 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 really tried, you know, to get to that position that Erica was so that he can be paired with Erica. Like he would be really, really dancing. And when he got to that point, he would basically stop so that he would basically feel it. 
like purposely failed. So they did that. Prince did that. Kid Wyatt did that so that he could be paired with Erica. And when it got to the last two, that was um V. I'm sorry, Neo and um, what's the name Ozo. So had it been Neo let Ozo win, he would have been paired with Nengi. But Neo wanted to win, and Big Brother was like, ah, finally you knew you were something. But little did they know that Big Brother sees everything. Big Brother ran them streets. Big Brother, when he was now giving them the brief, he now said, you know what, it's going to be reversed. Instead of Tricky T to be paired with Nengi, I'm sorry, Tricky T to be paired with Lucy, he will not be paired with Nengi. So, like, the first guy will be paired with the last girl and vice versa. So, the teams were now Tricky T and Nengi, Brito and V, um, Lacon and Tolani Baj, Praise and Erica, Kid Wire and Dorothy, Prince and Watoni, Ozo. What am I saying? Ozo and uh, Kaisha, Neo and Leo. Neo and Lucy. So yeah, that was how they were paired. It was really, really funny because they had to do like the charade. And at the end of the day, Erica and Praise won. Yeah, they won the sum of 500,000 Naira each. Yeah, that is a million Naira collectively. And they also won the new Oppo Renault 3. I'll be Renault 2. Yeah, so they won. And during that charade, yeah, I've noticed something. I would, if I'm in that house, I would really, really pray not to be paired with V. Not because I like i'm not hating on her but the way she always asks during the games like lay con got the answer lay con got the answer but she was not listening and she kept doing and doing and later that's when she now realized you know lay con won because the game was like the faster you get it the more points you have if you get it within 30 seconds you get 20 points if you get it between i think one minute you get um 15 if you get it between one minute and one one minute 30 seconds you get like i think 10 so they would have gotten something but no madame was just too nervous to concentrate another person i really don't want to be paired with is um what's her name tolani Baj. she just asks i don't know i've noticed her the way she just asks i don't care attitude in games in in tax like they don't she doesn't care and like i don't i wouldn't want to be paired with that kind of a person when i'm in the house so like seriously no you can't come and be spoiling my game now how about no now explain something well do charade well you you were not doing it anyways um kaisha and prince really really made me laugh kaisha was doing super for superman for prince he was not listening and all that so yeah um at the end of the day praise and erica won and congratulations to them moving on things and uh, the house has been slow also and dorothy dorothy um also has been trying you know in some ways to kind of like make dorothy he misses Dorothy. Let me just put it that way. He kind of misses Dorothy. But Dorothy is an in the boski bahose. She has refused to yield to him. Basically, she has refused. Even when they were acting drama, he trying to like, you know, press her buttons, you know. But ah, Dorothy refused. So she kept up a macho face. I'm talking about Ozo and Dorothy. And let's add Nengi to the twist. So um, what's his name? Oshohai Eric was doing his media rounds and doing um the media rounds with unlocked that's a dstv and go tv program he revealed to us about this whole shower thing with nengi and also that is actually true yes i think there's a lot we don't see especially if you don't have show marks because people that people that watch um show marks get to watch some things that we do not see yeah and one of the examples or there are lots of examples one of them are like did we know that when they were doing that truth and their thing that very first truth and their thing um it was kaisha that asked um what's his name prince if there's one person you want to fellowship with in the house who would it be and he said nengi he said he actually said the person is wearing my cap right now they, were, they did not show us that it's only people that are watching via show marks you know that they are showing actually kyodo went on a commercial break so we didn't get to see that another scene that we did not see was remember when erica was made head of house and she went to talk with lecon yeah and they did not show us what happened next. Actually, the tri the thing is, according to what um, we saw on Showmas was that after that, Erica went to the bathroom and was crying. They showed it. But on DSTV, our normal DSTV, they refused to show us. I don't know why. And also, another scene they did not show us was when the first night they spent in the he head of house room, immediately they um, moved in. Um, Erica and Ken Wire had some kind of kissing something going on, the making out session thing, and they did not show us. Can you imagine these people?
Hmm. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, er uh, Eric confirmed the whole shot thing with um uh, Nengi and Ozo, and he also confirmed that Dorothy actually has intense and mark my words, intense feelings for Ozo, and he actually also said that he and Lilo were a distraction to each other. I'm like, <laughs> Oga, were you not the one that was saying that? Oh, you can't wait to meet with Leo and all that. Lilo and all that. Look at your life. Sure, I told you, you are gonna be shocked. <laughs> hey people of god these people are very funny and what else um there was like a mini um altercation with um lucy and erica so lucy was trying to make her point i don't know what her point is because they were really really loud they were practicing for their wager and um at some point the thing was dragging and erica was like you know what well, let's just continue and lucy was not having it she was like if it's another person or if you had the one making your opinion heard would you actually cut the person off if it's not me you know it's always like you know she always says this thing that you people don't as long as the opinion is coming from you people don't want to take it seriously and why tony actually jumped to her defense and said what erica did by cutting her off was not right yeah and also erica had some issues with bright o i think bright o said he wanted to go pee and he ended up having his bath and kept everyone waiting and she was like you know what bright oh you are not going to participate in this um tax but later on i think he forgave she forgave him and then she asked him to apologize to everybody so yeah i'm i'm just imagining if it was some other sets that this kind of things happen and you tell somebody you're not going to participate in the wager and the person will not be like who are you to tell me not to participate in the wager and ah wahala will not start anyways guys that's basically what has been happening in the house um uh, nengi made soup in the middle of the night and everybody seems to love the soup so congratulations to her also is eating with nengi and Lacon has been kind of like avoiding Erica and he's like like now he's like more of his normal self which I I really really love so yeah basically that's what has been happening in the house and I said you know what let me come and tell you guys so thank you so much guys for being part of my channel let me know what you think about all this stuff that has been happening were you excited to see Tacha in the house because I was what do you think about Messi's explanation about that video let me know in the comment section and do you also think because a lot of people have been saying that Erica has been misusing her power as the head head of house do you think that that is so or do you think that maybe they just thought okay because she's the head of house and she's always smiling then there's they're just going to be cruising or cruising throughout the week and then they see her that she's actually not what they thought she was or she's not acting the way she thought or they thought she would act and they are now like having issues with her because of that let me know what you think in the comment section or do you think that erica has been hiding a lot behind her beautiful smile let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video so like come your way again i remain your girl az no williams have your a beautiful day. Bye guys!